Want to keep up with the latest Gary Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Yo, yo, people, get to doing here for another video. So, guys, we are here back in Farm Zone 19. And in this video, we have some new equipment that we're going to be moving over to a site. So, the site is actually just like, uh, like a big shed. A very actually nice shed, which you guys will see. Uh, like one of those big like machine halls. Um, but yeah, so either way, we'll be doing that. We're going to be picking up a very, very special vehicle made by Chop Shop Mods. Now, the reason I mentioned that right away is because I want to say something. I, we addressed something back, I believe it was last Friday, I want to say, um, or two Fridays ago, but either way, I addressed that I didn't have a good connection with Chop Shop, uh, and I was under the impression they may not like me due to the fact uh, that there was a comment uh, from someone who was claiming to be them that wasn't really the nicest of comments. Now, after dis uh, talking to the actual correct owner of uh, Chop Shop, we uh, found out at 100% was not him who sent it. Uh, it was someone pretending to be him. So I do apologize. I know I said I was skeptical about it and that I, I don't want, I'm not mad at them because I'm not sure if it was actually f uh, someone from that uh, community. But I just want to address that, that it is not someone from that community. They did nothing wrong. Um, and they actually even sent me a mod over early. Uh, it, but by the time you're seeing this, it's actually fully released. So you guys can actually get it. Uh, but what it is, it, it is a skid steer or, or like bobcat kind of mod. Uh, it's a big pack. Very, very cool. If we go under to uh, skid steer loaders, you will see this uh, CSM bobcat uh, 590 series skid steer version 1.2. So yeah, definitely pick up version 1.2. Uh, I really recommend you guys checking out the Patreon page. Link will be down below uh, in the mods section. Uh, and again, I do apologize for anything, any kind of unsurety about uh, the community in the past. Um, anything I did say. I know, I know I didn't say anything really bad, but I just want to apologize if I gave the wrong impressions. Uh, but yeah, so either way. Here it is. So lots of options. You have like doors, accessories, no doors, lots of stuff like that. You have different designs with weights and stuff. Uh, the wheels, you can get tall tracks. Look at how, look at the clearance. That's very cool. Never saw that before. Regular tracks. Uh, we have shock absorbing wheels, which is really cool. I believe. Yeah. Okay. This chain wheels. Very cool. Unique chain design. Uh, for the attachers, which this part is really, really cool. You can get front loader attachers wheel loader attachers or the regular skid steer attachers um which means we can really transport like any you can attach to anything with this really and then under the attachments you see there they have all these forks uh extra long and long forks all adjustable and then all the regular ones we have in game they've made it so you can actually buy them and strap them down now uh so for example this one you can get it in red if you want um red or gray but then we can actually strap it down, which we will be testing out using our uh, vehicle. So this trailer, I will try finding it. Um, I it, it, It's hard to find. Uh, I've had it uh, pretty much since we got the game. Uh, it was one of the first few out. And then this truck, I'll link down below. It's a T880 uh, edited by the Kenworth, edited by Babcock Farms to get our logo on it. So I'll link that down below. Uh, yeah, let's get going guys, and I do want to say there's lots of people here. Now, something cool about this trailer that I should probably mention uh, is, I, okay, you know what, I'm not going to say what it does yet. It does something that no other mod, to my knowledge, uh, can do. So, very, very cool with that. By the way, let's get moving. Now, I want to say something else, guys. And the thing I want to say is that we, now this is still early, early beta. But I'm happy enough with it to the point where I will release a, just a trial link. It's not going to be the official link. Uh, the site, again, not complete. Still working on it. Um, you, If you refresh it a few times, you might even see some changes to it. That's how uh, under development it is. But we now have a website. That is right. Now, I have not um, 
linked it with a custom domain yet, which means the link you'll use, I'll just put like a bit.ly link or whatever, like a shortener. Um, it's a Google site and eventually we will have a solid link um, attached to it. Something like, I don't know, uh, garrettplays.com, right? That will bring you there. Uh, but over on the site, currently what we have, we have a live sub count, uh, the times we upload videos, a banner, uh, the merchandise, we have the most recent video automatically posted. You can sign up for a newsletter, that is right. You can officially sign up for the newsletter. A uh, link will again be over on that site. Uh, and then there's also the merchandise tab, that is heavily under development. Uh, so for now, I would recommend if you want to buy merchandise, use our regular link that's in the description. Um, speaking of which, thank you to everyone who has bought merchandise. Greatly appreciate it. And then, what else is on there? There's our partners, so G Portal, Lambo Mods, or our sponsors, if you want to call them that. Uh, and then, there's a few other things on there. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Still lots to be added. I really am curious about ideas you guys have for it. Any future suggestions? Uh, I'm, de I'm fully up to hearing them. It, it's something that I've, I've wanted to do a website for a while. You guys have really wanted me to make a website for a while. And I do want to say a shout out to two people. Uh, that is Mad Tom and Daniel. Lots of the stuff on there. I either got inspiration from them or I used code that they wrote uh, or different things like that. So shout out to them. Especially, I know Mad Tom has been wanting us to get a website for so long. Uh, and he even made us a really good website. And so I took lots of... Lots of things that I really liked from that, I brought it over to this site. So thank you for that. Your work was definitely appreciated. But either way, guys, we are almost here. Now, I don't know how we made that turn, but we'll just turn in right here. Uh, I think we'll have enough space so we can turn out. Here, let's see. We're going to go in the bushes a bit here. Yeah, look at... Okay, first off, if I could drive, that would be better. But here we go, guys. So we got a few things purchased. Now, before we continue and I show you the amazing thing this trailer does, here's a message from our sponsor. Join Lambo Mods Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modding creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Okay guys, so there we go. Now, what does this trailer do? Well, are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's. Oh, that's the wrong button. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Do you see what is happening? Do you see this? We can bring that back. Now, you're probably like, okay, now what? Now, also, this obviously is not that realistic of a way, but we can lower it down. There we go. And it has straps. Look at that, guys. Now, these lights are floating. Again, this mod's very, very old. I'm going to try linking it. We'll see what we can do. Um, but, yes, guys, we can load these up. So, speaking of loading them up, let's go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, look at look at these arms and stuff. It's a camera a bit weird on that. I think the camera might be a little bit low on this vehicle. When I'm looking at... Yeah, this camera angle is definitely not correct. Um interesting don't remember the camera angle being like that before very weird uh okay i don't know hopefully uh chop shop is watching um this video yeah it goes oh yeah some something weird's happening with the camera there uh maybe it's because of the no camera collision mod i don't know but we'll just kind of go first person for now uh, so yeah, should be pretty cool. Now this one has the window, but they don't all have the window. So some of the, or like the big door. So we will be able to see better out of the other ones. Uh, but yeah, guys, very, very nice interior. You see that's actually moving. Uh, we're fully strapped in too. I can show that actually a bit better in a second. Uh, but yeah, okay, so we'll put this here and we'll lower this down. And now, yeah, that should strap down if I am correct uh come on I saw it we might have to go in the vehicle to do it strapping stuff down sometimes is a little bit 
funky. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. You see? Yeah, okay. So that actually strapped down right to uh, the attachment there, which is cool. And then we should be able to get some straps on the actual vehicle itself too. Uh, but yeah, we'll just do that in a second. Uh, let's go ahead and get in this vehicle. Yeah, again, the camera seems a little bit low on that. Not so sure what's happening there. Uh, but this is still being worked on, guys. This is version 2 or version 1.2. So, yeah, still still more to come. Still more to come. Okay, there we go. You see, we even have, if you look at the front, do you see that um, like wire, the cable thing? Like, that actually extends and stuff there, which is really cool. Uh, actually, here, can we show it better in this view? Look at the cable, right? Do you see how that's extending and bending correctly? Very, very cool. I, like, that, that's one of my favorite details um, the mod could have, is, like, having, like, those kind of things where, like, you, if you move something, it will change something else. I just, I don't know, it adds another dimension of detail, making it even uh, more realistic and even better simulation. So I'm very happy about that. Okay, so here we go. I'll put that down right here. Now again, there are straps. Yeah, I'm going to have to go in the vehicle to get them to show up. That's usually the case. Uh, and then we'll get this one. Now, do they all fit? I also have to turn this off. But will these all fit is the true question. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm keeping the camera angle a little bit high. Just so, yeah. By the way, guys, this one has uh, the max amount of weight on the back, which is pretty cool. Okay, here we'll back this one up on here. I think should be good, because then if the forks hang off a bit, it's like it's it's soft. It's soft. Drive this forward too. Uh, turn that off. Turn that off, and then we'll back this up a little bit more. They do strap down, so we won't need to worry about it skidding at all. Um, oh, whoa. What? Whoa. I guess that's to help push it off. That's really cool. Huh. That's not usual. Like, that's... No. That's not in-game, right? I've never seen something do that. Wow. That is a very cool design. Huh. So, what that does, guys, is, like, if you have something on here... So I guess that will push it off so it won't get like jammed on your forks, which is probably the one of the biggest issues in this game is just everything just gets jammed, like really gets jammed. Look, that's strapped down and everything. Let's see how they look. Okay, that's strapped down there. The wheels are strapped. The Oh, the back here. Look at that. Very cool. That's strapped down. Um, the back here is strapped just at the other side. Where else do we have straps? And then we have straps. Uh, two straps on the forks, one on the forks, one on like this top part, and then the vehicle is strapped down too. It's just the, it's not on one of the attachment points. So either way, let's go ahead, guys. We will, I guess, raise this up. So let's go ahead. Oh, it's heavy. Hold your horses here. Oh wow, that is very heavy. Once we move it in, it should be all good. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that's one of the reasons I think why no one uses this design because it really doesn't make sense if you have any kind of weight. Um, but yeah, okay, we'll put this right here, or yeah, right here is good, and then yeah, let's get going. So we've got to be careful because this load is quite heavy. Um, okay, come on, truck, there we go. This truck never does good with gaining speed when turning. But honestly, don't think any truck does good with that. Look at this. Like, this is us trying to move. Come on. Come on. Go faster. Oh, my guys. This is... This is painful. This is painful. Is there a way... Okay, maybe if we straighten out there a bit and then do less of a tight turn... Gain some speed, turn. Here, come on. Gain speed, gain speed. Slowly turn. Oh, this is a painful, painful thing to do. Come on. Okay, I think we're gaining... Yeah, okay, we're in the clear now. Can straighten out and just 
gain proper speed. There we go. So these turns are all gonna, they're all gonna suck. Absolutely. Okay, there we go. Turn out of here. Now is that vehicle just gonna ram us? Oh no. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and we are cruising. So the area we need to go to, uh, we will be taking a very thin road. Here we go. Oh jeez. Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow, I like the positioning we're in makes it so they can like barely barely pass us. Like they skim us. They but they hit us hard enough that it does make our vehicle move. Either way, let's go on here. So very very thin road. Uh but we do actually fit on here. Uh this trailer is quite thin, which it's good for for our case right now it's really really good I c it can sometimes be an issue depending on what we're trying to do but okay do we yeah we turn here that's what I was thinking I haven't done this drive since last time um what what, what were we doing that we need this drive I think it was picking up um okay I think we go this way oh actually I really don't know um Okay, so I can confirm that was not the right way to go. I don't know. When I did the turn, I was like, eh. Um, okay. It's okay. We can... Oh, this is going to be weird. How are we... Oh, this is going to add on a long part to this trip. Okay. That's okay. It's all good. By the way, guys, I'm sorry if this video is out a bit late. I'm not sure if it will be or if it will be on time. Um... Yeah, I don't know. My my room was being cleaned and stuff, and I I just I, I was doing stuff today. Um, also, something to note. By the way, I'm recording this right now. It's two fifty or uh, two forty six p.m. This video needs to be out by five thirty p.m. Uh, Eastern. So, yeah, yeah. If this is on time, I'm very skillful. I, I oh, did we we took the wrong turn again? Are you kidding me? How have I taken every wrong turn? Okay, we're keeping our mini map open. Only way to do this. Like, that's crazy. Okay, we're still doing good. These are fully strapped down. Like, they're not going anywhere. Okay, yield. Yeah, we're good. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Overdid that turn. I keep trying to drive this vehicle like the uh, Kenworth C500. So, okay, nope. That was our turn. I'm literally n failing at driving today. Oh. Oh, now we're going like... No. What is a speed? What is a speed? Okay, this is very unfortunate. This is on me, though. And our trailer's so going to hit a pole or something. Come on. Go. Go. Don't. You got this. You got. We'll hug this edge. Come on. Don't hit that pole. Don't. Oh, jeez. Oh, we're good. We are good. Okay, perfect. Let's see if we can actually drive correctly the rest of the way. That's our that's our challenge. We usually don't mess up driving like this, but I don't know. I don't know. It's a very interesting map. I'll say that. Like the roads are all highlighted. It's it's confusing. At least that's my excuse. Either way, here we go. Okay, we'll turn here. Turn here. Oh, I think we can actually go through those poles. Because you probably hit one there. Okay, so we are not taking it to the dealership. We're taking it to the machine hall thing. Now, again, this dealership uh, on this map, we're never going to use. Because we have our dealership server. Also, thank you to everyone who has been joining the Patreon page. And everyone who's been playing on the server. Um, I think we have seven or eight people now who play on the server. Which is quite cool. I think we started the month with like five people, four people playing on the server. Like not not too many, um, but that has gone up. So I appreciate that. And you guys seem to be doing lots of work on the server. Uh, we will definitely be on again soon, uh, like very very soon. So it should be quite quite cool. Oh yeah, but as I was saying earlier, before I took the wrong turn, um, I am now done two of my finals my two finals i'm done uh i still have some schoolwork to like 
catch up on, I would say. But like my big finals are successfully finished, um, which is quite cool. It's really, really cool. Uh, one was photography, which wasn't too bad. It actually was a pretty big project. Uh, and the other one was uh, English, like literacy. And that one was a bit bigger. Um, but yeah, got it all done. And been having lots of projects. Still, I still have like two projects for each class. Or two or three for each class that want to either do better on or I still have yet to hand in. Um, so I'll be doing that on the weekend and stuff. So I'm not fully in the clear yet. Monday will be my last day um really of like doing all the school work for high school because i'll be done high school after this which is quite cool okay so our, our, again our truck's gonna be weird here because this is so heavy so so heavy uh but we'll lower that down there we go okay and we'll unstrap this all and here we go pretty cool okay so either way, guys, thank you for watching. You guys are so awesome. Check out the website. Bye-bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.